All right, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shai, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakah Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching their ruling well in the scriptures. And citations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity with charity. And this is uh, this is just something real quick that I was uh, that I was meditating on, you know, concerning Christians and you know unbelievers and. You know, specifically people that say that they worship the Most High, say that they believe in God, and you know, they think in their heart being a good person is, 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 and loving everyone is the way that you keep the love of the Most High, which is untrue, according to the Scriptures. And you know, every time you present the fact that there's a, there's standards and there's laws that we have to keep, according to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, the God of Israel, all right. By way of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We have standards and we're giving them, all right, to be regulation upon our nation, man. And and two thirds of our people, they don't understand that just believing in the most high is, you know, it's not, um, that's not all that he requires. He requires you to be diligent in seeking out what he wants you to do. He wants you to be diligent in doing the work to the best of your ability. Okay, actually showing your works, actually being a doer of the word according to the scriptures. You tell our people a lot of the times, you know, you, there's certain stuff you got to do and they don't want to do it, but then claim that they believe in the Most High. You you show them a law or laws, all right, stating and, and telling them that they should be doing this and that and this and that, etc., according to the Most High standards. Yet they don't want to do these things. They're rebellious against them. Which is why the Lord said, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. You see, deceiving your own selves. You know, let me get it. Because a lot of our people, they, um, you know, they believe, they think they, they worship Yahweh Bashem Shai, But they really don't. And that's the majority of the world as well. They believe that they're Christians and God fearing. I believe in God, but you don't do anything he says. So that now we know that you're a deceitful person and you're actually deceiving yourself. All right, two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you're deceiving yourself if you say you worship the Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai, or who you call God and Jesus. Yet you do not the things He says to do all throughout the Scriptures. Okay, this is James one and twenty-two. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So a lot of our people, two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right. And majority of the world that believe that they're Christian, they are deceiving their own, you're deceiving your own selves. This is why we laugh at you, you, you Christians. This is why Apostle Zahar uh, uh, deems you Christians as wacky, tacky Christians, man, because you're deceiving your own self because you don't even sit down all right, and, and read the scriptures to actually understand what the Most High requires of men, women, and children, all right? Specifically, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because you are the children of Israel by blood. You are the people that receive the covenant, all right? Contrary to what proverbs and bywords and false nationalities and identification has been put upon you through the spirit, we have found out that we are the children of Israel, all right? The apostles and, uh, the, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down have been teaching this word and teaching our people, all right, that contrary to popular, popular belief of what people assume and think we are like black puerto rican mexican uh uh you know you name it you know german french american you know seminal indian native american cherokee etc all those are just proverbs and bywords which is a part of the curse that we are currently under as a nation but we really are the children of israel and we were given laws statutes and commandments to follow it's not a if you want to do it it's you're supposed to do it you're obligated to do it if you're an israelite or a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. But our people are just hearers of the word, man. Oh, yeah, I believe in the Most High, but do you go out there and push his word? Do you really get down to the, to the, go down to the, to, to the core to understand what his name is, what things mean in the Hebrew, which is the language they spoke during the times that they wrote these scriptures? Okay. Our people, don't for, our people forget that we weren't speaking English. We were speaking Hebrew. We were speaking Greek. 
We are speaking these different languages. So you have to go see what these words mean in that language, man. And how you say them. Not just in the English. James 1 and 22, but be ye doers of the word. The word says study to show thyself approved, which a lot of Christians don't do. Okay, they don't study, but then they have an opinion. And this is you deceiving your own self because you are not being a doer of the word. The word says, blessed is he who readeth in Revelation, the first chapter, man. The first chapter, excuse me. You see, you're not being a doer of the word. This word says, go to the highways and byways. All right. Put your garments back on. Put your border of blue back on and teach the word of the most high to correct our people and where they're going off. And a lot of the men of our nation don't do this. So they're deceiving their own selves, man. Because they're not being doers of the word. They're not being active. Okay. This is um this is Sirach 19 and 20. It says the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. So the, our people, they claim that they, you know, they claim that they believe in the Lord. They fear the most high, but they really don't because they're deceiving their own selves for not being a doer of the word. You see, Sirach 19 and 20, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. So you're going to you're going to try to keep the law to the best of your ability. Let's get the word performance. Because a lot of our people are just, you know, I I just got to say it. A lot of our people are full of shit, man. And when that time comes, when destruction comes, then they're going to seek the Lord. And this and that's what all that's what you see happening, man. That's what's ultimately going to happen. Oh, they're going to, oh, well, what are you guys saying when all hell, they, like our people need to require a sign. That's why the Lord said that, that this generation requires a sign, but they're not going to receive a sign, but the prophets, which are here teaching you this word through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let me get the, the, the verb form. Performance a noun, it means a thing performed, the action of performing a play. And we have this script. So we have to we have to we have this script. We have the scripture. So we are we have to perform the actions of what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua said in the scriptures. One of those is teaching our people out in the highways and byways. Another is studying to show thyself approved. Another is trying to keep the law to the best of our ability. And how do you do that? You have to study what the laws are. You have to read. Like Revelations one and seven say, or one, uh, Revelations one says it says, "Blessed is he who readeth." Man, these are things that show Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that you're using and you're performing the law, you're acting on what he has written in the scriptures to the best of your ability. This is the word acting. It says performance of plays. <laughs> you see, now we have to we we have to we have to be in performance of the word, man. Okay, not just doers only, which our, our people love to think that they're, they love to think that they're being a doer of the word, man. And it goes way more into that. This is why the Lord left the remnant, the elect 144,000 and the one third. They're going to they're going to they're going to perform these things and believe these things and search out these things and read. You see, because in that day when the Lord comes, it's, it's not going to be any mercy upon any of the house of Israel, man. Two thirds specifically. OK, because <laughs> let me reword that the Lord is not going to have mercy on the two thirds of Israel, which is sixty six point six percent of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Why? Because you are not a doer of the word. You are a hearer of the word. You are a, a look at one scripture person of the word and base your whole life around just one scripture. When there's a whole, you know, a whole book of scriptures and, and doctrines of life. Written in the word, man, by way of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua through the spirit, man. All right. This is um, Sirach 19 and 20. Once again, it says the fear of the Lord is all wisdom and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency, his omnipotency, Salaki, excuse me. You see? So if you really, if our people truly did fear the Lord, they would be showing their performance like the prophets on the highways and byways are doing. But they're not doing that because our people do not have fear in the Lord, which means our people do not have wisdom. And what's the, what does it say in uh, Isaiah 33? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, or wisdom and knowledge shall be the shall be the stability of our time. 
So if our people do not have this wisdom, that means they don't have the fear of the Lord and the Lord is coming back to destroy people that do not fear him, man. So you people get mad at us because we actually fear the Lord, but that's okay because in that day you're going to you're going to you're going to uh you're going to cry to the Lord because of your uh <laughs> because of your fault and because of your your uh you being afraid of the things coming upon the earth and the Lord is not going to hear you, man. The Lord's not going to save you because he's only saving the remnant that show their performance in the law. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and this is a this is a, a statement to the other Christians of all the, the the whole entire earth. Where is your performance of the law? The Lord said, if you if you have the fear of the Lord, you will show your performance of the law, going out to the highways and byways, week in and week out, in season, out of season, doing these lessons, all right, proclaiming the acceptable year of Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's the performance of the law. Keeping the laws to the best of your ability. Being brotherly. All right. Being around the brotherhood. Okay. To the best of your ability whenever you whenever you can. Do the spirit, man. Because we're in hell. So we got to work. And, you know, some brothers have women and children and wives and all sorts of things. And, 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 and uh, situations we've been set up with. But the Lord has given us the word. All right. To top, uh, to top that so it keeps us stable. It's like the skeleton of our life, man. You see, until the Lord comes. But in that day when the Lord comes, man, a lot of you people are going to be confounded because you weren't being doers of the word. You weren't showing your performance. So this is Matthew 7 and 21. It says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So the people are going to, you people are going to, you're going to fret yourselves, man. Please, Lord, save me. It's, it's destruction coming. It's crazy out here. I can't, I don't got no food, but the Lord's not going to hear you, man. Why? Because you didn't do what he said to do during the time of the green tree. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven, which is showing that you're doing, you're using and do, you're using the word and you're showing performance. You're acting. All right. You're acting on the things that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua said. Not just reading them and not just, you know, <laughs> Reading over them. This is mainly to people outside of the truth, but it also could, you know, it also could be directed at people that believe they're in the truth, man. Like these other false camps. None of these other camps are showing the performance. All right. That Yahweh Bashim Yahushua requires of us, man, which is teaching his word in the eyes of the world and not being afraid. You see, because he ruleth in the kingdom of men. So we have we're under and we're ambassadors of a higher power and government that is about to come back to the planet, man. And our people don't understand that. That's why in that day, a lot of two thirds of our people are going to say unto the, the, the Lord, Lord, Lord. It's, and I'm going to read this seven, seven, Matthew seven and twenty one. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. You see. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils? Oh, putting up a putting up a couple of lessons a, a month or a year, you know, not being in season, out of season, not really breaking down the scriptures right, rightfully and correctly, man, correctly and directly. Excuse me. You see all these abominable heresies, all these other doctrines. That they believe through the spirit that they're prophesying the truth. But these a lot of these people don't have the truth, man. That's why on that day they're going to be like, Lord, Lord, haven't we not prophesied in thy name? You know? No. Because you didn't prophesy the right doctrine. You didn't get the right understanding. You didn't do exactly what I told you to do. All right? Through the spirit. You didn't follow the elder, the apostles in great, of great millstone. Not because they're men, but because the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai and the truth and the knowledge and understanding and wisdom comes from those men because the Lord uses those men. Just like he used the apostles of old, he used Isaiah, he used Jeremiah. These are holy and great men that the Lord puts the spirit upon, man. And if you're not following that doctrine, you're prophesy you're not prophesying in the Lord's name. You're doing you're trying to do your own thing. And those are part of the people that are going to say, Lord, Lord, in that day. Matthew 7 and 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy and in thy name have done wonderful works? Verse 7, 23, what's the Lord going to tell you people? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. 
Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And that's going to be uh, that's going to be the answer from the most high for a lot of our people, man. Two thirds of our people, man. And for the rest of the world, man. Why? Because they follow not the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're not doers of the word. They show no performance. Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. So the Lord and the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, wants us to show performance. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. So showing our performance and doing the will of the Yahweh B'Hashim Yahshai is founding, is putting our, 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 is putting our faith in our life upon a rock. So when all these things happen, the Lord is going to deliver us out of all of them. The Lord is going to help us, man. Why? Because we did what he said to do to the best of our ability. All right. Verse, uh, this is Luke 6 and 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Why is it, why would the Lord be saying these things? Who would he be saying this to? Questioning. You people that did not do the will of the Lord, that are scoffing the prophets, that are doing what you want to do, that are falling and leaning onto your own understanding. While there is a green tree, which is the time before the destruction and, and chaos. He's going to say these things to you during that time when he comes. Luke 6 and 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Why call ye me Lord, Lord, and you didn't show any performance? You didn't act in what I said to do. Luke 6 and 47. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built his house and dig deep and laid the foundations on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. You see, we're all about the Lord is all about performance of the word. Luke 11 and 28. But he said, yeah, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the most high and keep them by showing their performance, man. You see. So the Lord wants us to show performance in the truth. We're supposed to pray for more, uh, more will, the more of a uh, energy and more spirit and more life and the, and more of a will to do the performance of Yahweh Bashem Shai. because that's what He wants. And then He He said that He would uh, give us salvation, man. If we're if we're doing what He likes, if we're pleasing, if we're sending up uh, sweet saviors through our lessons, through reading, breaking bread, you know, just ultimately being a doer of the word, man. Showing performance, all right, into the fact that you love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which two thirds of our people do not do, and com the complete and entirety of the other nations, and especially the nation of Edom, do not do and will never do. Therefore, there is no God of the heathens, there is only the God of the Israel of the Most High, which is the elect, the 144,000. All right, and one and one third, the innumerable multitude of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. People not showing performance towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, deem them a liar. Deem them not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and this goes to heathens. Heathens, you know, they come with the Christian. They come with our book, not knowing this is a book of our forefathers and our history, and they're definitely not doers of the word. Two thirds of Israel are not doers of the word, and they say they are. All right, but they are they they totally. Let me get this. Matter of fact, to close it out. Bear with me one second. This is Jeremiah 11 and 8. Jeremiah 11 and 7. It's like Jeremiah 11 and 6. Then Yahweh said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. 
For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, obey my voice. Uh, the only way you have through, the only way you're going to hear the voice of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is through the prophets. And what do they tell you to do? What am I telling the, our people to do in teaching? The performance of the law to the best of your ability. Do the things that the Lord says. Okay, Jeremiah 11 and 7, for I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt. How does the Lord protest unto us? Through the prophets, through men. For I earnestly protested unto you, to your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked everyone in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. You see, our people have always been this way. You present the actual way and they refuse to do it. They refuse to show performance of the law. And how about Shem Yahshua ultimately is going to bring destruction. So when you cried to him in that day, Lord, Lord. He said he's not gonna he's not gonna hear you. He's gonna say, <laughs> "I know you not when you are. You're a worker of iniquity." This is what these are these are the answers that these the two thirds and the heathens and Esau are gonna get in that day, and they're gonna go right into be cast into utter darkness, man. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jeremiah eleven and nine. And Yahweh said unto me, "A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem." They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore, the, what are you going to do about it, Lord? They won't listen, Lord. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, Lord, Lord, we have, haven't we prophesied in thy name? Haven't we cast out devils? And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. So, not performing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's word, all right, is going to result in him bringing evil upon you and not hearing your cries when you call out to him for the agony of pain and destruction and sorrow coming in these last days, man. Lord willing, that was edifying. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Mill Stone. For teaching and ruling one of the scriptures, salutations to your across the word across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.